Well, hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vikrant Deshmukh. I am a data science student at the University of Arizona High School. Uh, I'm from the 2022 batch, uh, fall 2022 batch. And as for my presentation, I would like to talk about my internship experience at a pharmaceutical company called Roche. And <clears throat> just to give a big background of what the company is about. So Roche is a Swiss multinational healthcare company that operates worldwide under two divisions, which is pharmaceuticals and diagnostics. And for during my internship, I was working under its uh, biotech arm called Genentech, which is a biotechnology company based in the United States. And during my internship, I worked on, on site with a lot of scientists and data scientists, which were involved in analyzing biotech data. So just from these pictures, you can see there's a lot of instruments that are specifically designed to collect uh, process and analyze a lot of biotechnological data, biochemical data that is generated for drug substance manufacturing. And uh, these data, these instruments are pivotal in understanding the life, living organisms, disease, me disease mechanisms, and and the bio burden, uh, bio bio burden data that is within the drug substance that are generated. Hence, th as these biotech equipments generate a wide range of data. Uh, including genomic and cellular data, it is very vital for the business to analyze this data and generate meaningful insights from it. So during my time at the uh, internship, I was working with a lot of qualitative data that came from a lot of different systems and scientists that were operating on the systems in real time. And so to analyze this qualitative data, I used a lot of topic modeling initially. And from this, you can see, uh, just to give a gist of our topic modeling, it's, it's like a basic statistical modeling that is used, that uses unsupervised machine learning to generate clusters or group of similar words within a body of text. So if you provide a group of text, it will run certain algorithms in the backend and it will give you clusters of words that are similar. And uh, this mining method uses uh, semantic structures uh, in text to understand the unstructured data without predefined tags or training data. So you don't, you can use unsupervised learning on this. Another thing that I worked on was using a very popular library called Scatterdex in Python. And this is a packet, Python package that lets you interactively visualize of between two categories of text that are different from each other. And most of the work that I've done on Scatterdex focuses on how you can, you can visualize the differences in single words and bigrams and how these different words and frequencies are related across different categories. Of course, I can't share the actual visualizations because of confidentiality agreements with the company, but this is just a sample of what work I was doing on. Another interesting project that I was working on was, was building custom chatbots for summarizing a lot of uh, drug substance data that comes through. And this is qualitative data. Hence for, hence for this, I was using, I fine tuned a lot of Llama 2 and Falcon B 40B models on AWS SageMaker for different use cases. So scientists used to reach out to our team and discuss their use cases. And we used to fine tune the model and build data pipelines for uh, training these models and generating chatbots. So from this example, you can see, you can just write, a, you can query the model and it will give a descriptive answer about the underlying data. So that's one of the projects that I'm currently working on. And this is just a visualization of what the business process was. It helped, uh, the business say around $150,000 in the span of six months because they had to eliminate a lot of manual processes in the back end. So there was an enhanced root cause, root cause analysis. So just by querying the data on the model, you could pretty much get a general idea of how what the trend is among drug substance manufacturing, unplanned events, even breakdowns, machine breakdowns. And that led to the next project that I'm currently working on, which is based on predictive maintenance. It is a very popular topic uh, among data science. Uh, I can't share the actual architecture of it, but this is just a gist of it. So I'm using AWS and a tool called Data AQ to build the ETL pipelines to analyze covariate analysis and see which kind of sensors that are used in the automation affect the end product. So that's just a gist of it. And as per acknowledgement, I'd like to thank the onsite team that allowed me to work on these projects. I got to visit different sites in South San Francisco, in New York and Oceanside. They allowed me to go to the site and actually be there present and work on the substance itself. So I also like to thank my manager, Maximilian, who is the chief of staff 
and my co-partner Nikita, who was working with me during this internship. And that was it. Thank you.